Hey there, viewers. Welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, the track is back. The 96 tracker is back in the garage again, not for a comeback, but for additional work. Uh, when I was in here last time, I told her I wanted to do a tune up on it, you know, the rotor, the cap, wires, and the plugs. So I told her just drive around for a little while, and whenever I got the opportunity, I'd let her know and she could bring it back, and I'd do that for her. So uh, I'm going to take you along with me, and I'm going to show you something. I tried to get started ahead of time on some things. I want to check a few things out. And there's a little rubber boot. I'll show you here. Oh, this one's falling apart. Little rubber boot right here that goes on the plug wire right here. Well, when I pulled the wire out, rubber boot fell off. I'm like, motherless guilt, you gotta be kidding me. So whatever, you know. So I tried with some picks and long deal nose pliers. I mean I tried and tried and tried to to get because it was stuck right up in here. Well, you can't get the socket on here with the big rubber boot on there. So I'm like, man, so I tried and tried and tried and tried several little different things, nothing worked. So I went ahead and got a uh, bolt extractor, but out got her out. Now, I don't think it would have been as successful if I hadn't already had these plugs out last time it was here in the garage. Because uh, they were pretty stiff when I took them out last time it was in here. But nonetheless, got her out. And that's all that matters. Anyway, we're going to get to it. So, I took parts of the intake off already, which this wouldn't have been uh, necessary had it not been for that particular plug. Uh, plug that broke and it just so happened to be number four and that sucker there was no way of getting to that without taking the intake off so uh i mean it is what it is so anyway uh went ahead and i already marked the plug wires the plug wires already marked on the cable but i always do this just to keep my habit going because if you work on a car that doesn't have the factory wiring you know more likely it's not going to have the numbers on them so i always mark the numbers on it just just to be careful you know anyway let's connect this coil here uh, screwdriver here Oh. I'll be right back. I'm struggling with that, and there's no need to videotape me struggling. Uh, I got the wire harness on now. It's a little, a little hard to get off, but I got her. Right, I'm going to take this distributor cap off. Alright. Oh, Alright. Pop the rest of these out. 
This trim tool actually is a really good pry bar for these spark plug boots. Be careful so you don't damage them if you're going to be reusing them. All right. Take these out. Make sure this rotor is the same. Yep. Looks right. Yep, looks right. Ah, uh, need another bear. Oops. Gently. Turn that off. There we go. That's what the old one looks like. All right. We want to put on there. We're going to go over to the bench and Change out the distributor cap. Hey viewers, I'm back. Hey, got the new wire switched over to the new distributor cap. Uh, and I always mark at least the number one on the new caps. But these aftermarket caps, they're not going to have any kind of indicators on anything. So you'll need to go ahead and mark it somehow. Screws. You need to double check, make sure this new one was also eight millimeter because the original one on here was an eight millimeter head on that screw all right Yeah, this back screw is in a really supple position. And you didn't have to disconnect the uh, ignition module, but I went ahead and did anyway. Anyway, it's one less thing in my way.
And this type of socket here, this wobble, you do it, whatever you want to call it. This works out really good for getting to that bolt, screw, whatever you want to call it. One that's up against the firewall. It's kind of tight back there. That one works out great for that. All right, we're going to go ahead and take these spark plugs out. Number four is already out because obviously, as you saw earlier, when I talked to you about having to work on that one because that piece of that rubber boot like broke off or whatever. Well, it didn't really break off, it just came off of there. All right. That one. <clears throat> and all of these have been out since the last time it was in the garage, as I said earlier. I just went ahead and looked at everything the last time it was in here. And while I've got this socket in hand here, this is a gear wrench 80546, 5.8 uh, spark plug socket. If you ever change plugs on a 5.7 Hemi, like I have in my truck, this is the spark plug socket they have. Oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier to get to them. Uh. All right, I'm going to go ahead and gap these spark plugs. To 23 thousandths. Uh, oh. I know there's a lot of guys out there that say if the spark plugs out of the box aren't gapped where they need to be, you have to return it to the store. You can't regap it. That's BS. You can go ahead and regap it. You got to remember all these spark plugs are designed for different engines. Every engine manufacturer has a different spec for the gap. And it was out of the box. These things were gapped at 35 thousandths. And they're supposed to be gapped at 23 thousandths.
And to do this job, you didn't need to take, you don't need to take the intake tube off. Like I said earlier, the only reason I did it was because I needed to, all the clearance I could get to access this number four spark plug. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I am using the AC Delco spark plugs for this pup. And there's the there's the part number, the forty one hyphen six zero two. And I went with the standard motor products for the. Cap and rotor. A lot of times you can you get lucky. Standard motor products. A lot of times they repackage OEM parts. All right, number four. Extension making it easier. Need to reach in there. Reach over so far. And actually, the nice thing about this this socket is it gets hung up in there. You don't have to worry about it extension separating from the socket itself with it detached. And it's magnetic, and it's not the regular uh, ones that have the rubber in it to grip the uh, insulator on the spark plug. This one's magnetic. And it's a really strong magnet too. All right, let's go ahead and get these plug wires routed here. Number one. That's number two. This next one should be number four. This one is number three. Oh, you know what I better do? Run into that problem again. Let's go ahead and put some dielectric grease on these. And it's forgot one of the most important parts.
should have enough for this team. I don't know if this team. It's a small one I had because parts still don't have a large team at the time. I get some. And hopefully this will prevent the problem I had of the foot plug wire boot coming apart. Nope, I have to get another tube. This one's all out. Check and make sure they're all heated. Module back in. Click. Like I said before, you didn't need to take all this intake stuff apart, but like I said the only reason I did was because of oh, that spark plug issue. Small bit. It's pretty simple to take this off. These two go into the engine block. Then this one here goes into the top of the valve cover. And then I'll show you what else here in just a, what else it does here in just a moment. So there's three more mounting holes on top of this bracket. That's and take two mounts too. There we go. This top bolt is a 10 millimeter. And the ones on the side here, these are 12 millimeter. Right. Now that that's on there, we can clip, put these spark plug wires into these clips on here.
Put the intake on it. Intake tube back on it. And again, these are the three bolts that I'm talking about that were on the top here. Come on, slide it, baby. There you go. Boy, she's tight. All right, here's that. See if I okay. Those are just set in the place. Back here with this flex tube. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I should have put that on. Yeah, that's this around. Right. Here we go. There you go. Wondering if I should have put this on first. But I Good. Yep. There you go. Let's pull it over. There you go. A little difficult, but got her. All right. Gotta connect these. There's two vacuum lines. One here, one here. And these two lines are actually coolant lines. That's why there's a little bit of ink on the Cover. Yes, I know there's fire specially designed for these type of hose clamps, but they're easy to get to. So I'm assuming you can regular. Channel locks. 
And yes, I have some pliers. I actually have a set of multiple pliers for these different angles and all that good jazz and stuff. All right. Go oh, check that. Need to tighten these. Once here. Right tight, I know I tighten that one. Clamp, 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 clamp. Okay, all right. I gotta go run in the house real quick. Go we'll check on some stuff with my wife, and then I'm gonna come back out here in just a moment and we'll uh, test fire it and see how she runs. Hey, viewers, I'm back. Yeah, I had to go run in the house real quick. Check on some stuff with, with my wife. <clears throat> she had to do a little, a little bit of grocery shopping. Needed a few little items. I'll go check in on that. Uh, supposed to be getting a little bit of snow today, but the big thing is we're supposed to have like 30 to 40 below wind chills uh, starting this evening. And she had to go run to Walmart, get a few little items. And of course, you know, everybody's in there panic buying, just like they did with the whole COVID thing. You know, people can't, I don't know, I don't know. It's going to be cold for a couple of days. It's going to be fine. You don't need to buy all the eggs. You don't need to buy all the bread. You don't need to buy all the milk. Just, you'll be fine. It's going to be a couple of days. Anyway, uh, enough of that ranting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go inside the uh, vehicle here. I'm going to fire it up and see how she runs. Well, you know, she starts and she runs. I guess that's a plus, two pluses. Fires and she runs. Hey, I'll turn my Pandora off real quick. Or YouTube gets me for a copyright claim or whatever. You know, can't listen to background music. Anyway, uh, that's it for uh, this tracker. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the hood and take her for a quick little test drive, and uh, I'll give her a call and tell her she come get her vehicle. And, uh, and you know, for a 96, she's actually a nice little, nice little vehicle. I was talking with my wife. I told her, I said, if uh, I know the lady that owns it, and I told her, I said, if, if, if she wasn't going to be giving it to her granddaughter, I, I probably would have made her an offer on it because this would have make a really good second vehicle. And not only that, it's four wheel drive and the four wheel drive works. So uh, be great for around here, getting around, the, getting around in the snow and stuff. But uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, this is a simple job. Anybody can do it. Uh, and for those out there that are going to get me for no NICs on the spark plug threads, you're going to be fine. You don't need them. Uh, this is probably the last set of plugs this thing is ever going to see anyway. So, uh, hey, sleepyhead. Hey. hey, close the door. You're letting all the heat out of the oh, garage. That's what teenage boys do. Leave doors open. Let the cold air in, hot air out. Well, anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and put this uh, video to rest here. Uh, again, if this video was helpful, like, subscribe. And uh, I want you to go ahead and track on down to that comment section, you know, questions, concerns. You want to beat me up over this job? Hey, man, that's fine. Uh, 
I do want to let you know I appreciate you watching, and thanks for watching. Hey, there's one more thing I want to show you on this. I had to put a new wiper blade on the rear. Well, in order to do it, you got to take this tire off. <clears throat> but on this, it's got a lock on it. Here. Yeah, that's weird, crazy, I guess. I guess people are stealing spare tires now, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I thought it was kind of weird. I thought I would go ahead and include that in on this video. So the little things you find when you're working on stuff that kind of make you scratch your head or bring a smile to your face. Anyway, thanks for watching.